Many people have a suggestion command for their bot. If it's a utility or a moderation bot, you're most likely going to have it. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add it to your bot. What we're going to be creating is a suggest command for people to suggest things and two other commands which are approve and deny. So you can approve and deny the command. This will not be using a database. If you do want one with a database, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. The reason I didn't add a database is because it would make the video way too long to like 20, 30 minutes where there are not many people would want to watch it. And I don't think that people would actually follow it and get errors. And so that's why this stuff is shorter. But yeah, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so here I am in my Visual Studio code or whatever coding editor you use, it doesn't matter. And what we're gonna start off by doing is doing client.command and doing async def and whatever you want the command name to be. So I'm gonna call it suggest. And then we're gonna pass in two things. One is gonna be ctx and then add like a little asterisk over there and then suggestion, which this will make it into coarg or korg essentially anything after this it'll count in this you'll see what we do with it later on but now what we want to do is we want to do await ctx channel dot purge limit dash one and then do channel actually channel equals next core dot utils dot get and this will get whatever channel we want so we'll do just ctx dot guild dot text underscore channels we want to make sure it's a text channel not a voice channel so we can actually send the message to that spot and then do a name equals on whatever the channel name is so let's say most likely it's going to be suggestion so I'm going to keep mine as suggestion. That's what it is for my bot or my server. But actually, um, if you have something different, you can change something different. Or you can hook it up to like a database, whatever you'd like. And then you want to do suggest. And this is going to be the actual embed. Or whatever you want. I think this is going to be good with an embed. So I'm going to create an embed. By doing next chord dot embed title equals suggestion description can be um ctx.author.name has suggested and then add a little toto key so, and then whatever their suggestion was so like so and it would just say um for me it would say glow stick has suggested who subs Subscribe or something like that if but I spelled subscribe wrong because I have no idea how to spell But after you add that What you can do is you want to create another one called sug or whatever you want us and then and this will be actually the message that we send so do uh, Channel dot send because we want to send it to that specific channel and just do embed equals suggest like so and now we want to add the reactions but before we do that we want to send something else to the channel await channel send and now what we want to do is fstream that suggestion id and then whatever this sub id is so yeah and the reason we do this is in order to approve or deny the uh, the actual um suggestion we're going to need an id and Discord automatically generates an ID for you for every message. So we just want to grab that. What you can do is hook this up to like a random number generator or something. Like that generates a huge number or a huge string and use that. But then you might need to use a database for that as well. So, you know, this is just a simple way to do it. You can as well edit this to make it. So just have quickly edit it so it adds id there once again it's all your choice i'm just gonna do this because it's simple and it's easy to show on a tutorial now we want to add the reactions which is sub dot add underscore reaction and over here you want to get your reaction or emojis now i have two emojis on the side here so this is one of them and then if we copy this 
The second one is X, like so. Now you can probably find this up just by searching emoji or checkmark emoji or if you have a custom one you can use that. I'm gonna use this because it's simple, basic, and easy to read. And yeah, this is basically the entire suggestion command done. Now we want to move on to an approve command and the, after we do the proof it's just copy and pasting it and changing a couple things and boom that's it in that command. So we want to start off with the client.command as usual. And then do async def approve and add ctx and then this time add id which is going to be an int equals to none and then open that up and do int id equals equals none or is none then just return it or you could send like an embed saying no or you need to specify the message id but let's say it is specified, then what we want to do is we want to grab the channel again, like so. And then what we want to do is, let's say if there is no channel, right? If you want to do if channel, and then do if channel is none. So if like, let's say the channel doesn't even exist, then just say turn. So the command won't work if the channel does not exist. So let's say there is not so nothing name suggestion, then it just won't exist. Now what you want to do is like the actual code that will approve or deny the message. So you want to do suggestion msg and grab whatever the suggestion is. Do away channel dot fetch underscore the message and then add the ID. So this will grab this and it will go into the whatever channel there is it'll grab the message using this ID. And then we can create another embed, embed equals next chord dot embed. And that could have title equals F suggestion. You know, I'm not even gonna bother spell checking that. And then do description equals the suggestion ID of, and actually extra in this, and then put in whatever suggestion ID. So over here we have suggestion msg dot ID has been approved by ctx dot dot name. We're just gonna do that. And we can also add like a reason here if you'd like. So add that and then do reason equals none and then do reason reason there we go and boom that's it and lastly we just want to send this so just do away channel dot send embed equals embed and that's your approve command you're like okay how do i make this into deny well it's simple copy this change this to deny and then change this okay and then do denied okay and yeah that's basically i just changed a couple things and boom it's now deny command just change where it says approve to deny and it will work fine so let's hop into discord and let's test this out okay so here i am in my discord and you can see the bots online so if you just run d help you can see i guess it works and we have three commands so what we want to do is just do suggest and let's just say and it would delete the command or delete whatever we just sent and then do suggestion here you go and boom it just said has suggested subscribe to this so we can say okay yeah and let's say enough people have posted this and like a moderator is like okay i feel like we have to approve this and so now what we do is just do approve and go to the whatever the suggestion is go over here and on the message not on this right it tells you the id so just copy the id and then approve that so it should look something like this and then sign that up and then whatever reason so and then over here it just says suggestion has been whatever that is the suggestion idea of this once again i didn't really 
try on this, I guess, in bed. You guys should try, okay? This is just a tutorial bot, so. And it says reason because yes, and that's exactly what I put, and this is the ID. So the moderator can say, okay, or anybody else checking, it's like, oh, which one has been approved? They can scroll up, find the ID, and that's it. It's really good, and it tells you everything. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you're like, okay, test out the deny one. It's the same exact thing. It's the same code, by the way. But yeah, if you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And until next time, close to go. See ya.